Hello ladies and gentlemen, as requested I did a second video about Cyberpunk 2077, the graphic settings, the performance impact and this time with some side to side visual comparison and some more in detail number crunching. So if you just want a video about which buttons to push to improve your performance, please check out my first video. This video is a little bit more about number crunching. So let's get into it. One question came up. How big is the performance difference between 1080p and 4040p? Now for ultra settings on 4040p, this card, an RX 5700 XT, manages 40 to 40 frames per second. And on 1080p, the performance boost is huge. It's 60% and going up to 68, 67 frames per second. So for some people, this might be an option going down to 1080p, scaling up and using the Radeon image sharpening for an experience that might be close to 1440p. I personally prefer 1440p native, but visuals are personal preference and highly subjective. Keep this in mind now when we are talking about any other kind of setting too here. So let's jump into the settings. Under gameplay there was a setting I was wondering if that has some impact, uh, crowd density. I tested this and for me there was no difference in terms of performance. Speaking of performance, I have four groups, two with a very high impact and two with a medium impact. I will speak about mostly here. And I will go with you through the other settings and tell you that they don't have any big meaningful impact on performance. So starting with the basic. All settings here, film grain, depth of field, lens flare, motion blur, keep it to your personal preference. The performance impact is minimal. It's maybe a difference of one frame per second, turning everything off and turning everything on. So that's great, it gives you a choice. Just pick the things you really like and adjust the settings to your personal preferences. Always good to have choice. Now going down to the advanced settings. Let's put this on ultra. Okay. Contact shadows, improved facial lightning geometry. Uh, again, two settings. Forget about it. No big impact on performance. Now a very minor impact is Anisotropy. I hope that's pronounced correctly. Because can you distinguish 16 from 8? I can't. So that's a free gain of maybe one or two frames per second here. And so I just keep it to 8. It's not a big boost, but um, I don't think you can see a difference. So I will take it for free. Now the first group with a medium impact on your performance is Shadows. So we have five settings you need three because local shadow mesh quality and distant shadows resolution don't have a big impact so just concentrate on local shadow quality cascaded shadows range and cascaded shadows resolution now here's some in-game footage everything high everything medium everything low performance wise coming from max settings going to low is a boost of 8%. And you can clearly see the difference here between a low setting and high setting. But between high and medium, you already have a performance boost of about 5%. And the difference quality wise is not really that big. So I would recommend here for these three settings, going down to medium and enjoy a 5% performance boost. Next up, we have the volumetric settings. This group has a very big impact on your performance. We are speaking about 20% from everything ultra to low and off. Volumetric fog, you might think, it has a huge impact on all these steamy, foggy, things that's going around in cyberpunk and adding really nicely to the ambience. I took some footage, please here, um, please take a look and tell me if you can see a difference uh, now that the settings are low, medium, high or ultra. Performance wise, I can tell you that these 20% 
I would take full advantage of. So I would put volumetric fog and volumetric crowds to off and low and enjoy a boost of 20% here. I don't think you can see a big difference within the game. Jumping on, the next big player here, screen space reflections quality. Another big one, just this setting. So an ultra setting, of course, this is put to ultra, but there's even a higher psycho quality. I tested this and yes, that's a huge chunk of performance that goes off there. So ultra is already very demanding. I also took some footage here. I left out the difference between high and ultra because you can not really see a difference, but you can see a very big difference between an off setting and then you have low, medium and here on screen high. And going all the way down to medium coming from ultra already gives you a performance boost of 10%. If you're going down to low, you will speak about a performance boost of 15% and off, as I mentioned, 20%. So I would go for medium all day. That's just 10% more performance for something you will hardly see any difference. And I think even low will not really be visible while playing the game. But that's completely up to you. So somewhere between a medium and a low setting will do. And that's about 10 to 15% performance boost here. And the last one I would like to speak about is ambient occlusion. Now this is again a medium player um, in terms of performance. So from high going to off will give you a performance boost about 8%. That's the same quantity like with shadows. So it's really hard to capture any gameplay because uh, this video is transferred and uploaded and stuff like this. It's 1440p, but maybe you watch it on 1080p on YouTube. So take a look for yourself, play around with it. I would put this down to low any day. I can hardly see any difference between low and medium and um, high settings here. So something around medium and low, I would say you can take any day and enjoy the performance boost here. So the other settings I did not mention specifically have no big impact. You can play with them if you want to in terms of your visual preferences, but performance wise, it's not worth bothering with. It's just maybe one frame here and 2% there. But um, these four groups, as I marked here on the screen, are the groups I would focus my attention on. So that is all for the performance part. If that's all you wanted to hear, you are free to play the game and enjoy the performance boost. Now there's one more thing I would like to say about this game. I would give Project Red credits any day to take the leap and do something new. Not doing The Witcher 4 like you're doing Far Cry 6 and building on a system you already know and take the easy way. But really to go all the way, present us something completely new and it is a great game. It has its flaws, it might have some performance issues here and there and um, there will be maybe six months before this game is really fleshed out and everything and I hope they also tweak some gameplay things but I will talk about that in another video because right now I will start to covering gameplay and gameplay only and stop doing this graphic settings stuff I'm done with that now so if you're interested in that please subscribe and give me a like and enjoy the future footage but people are complaining about this game like it's a bad console port it's horrible and you cannot play it um, no it's not it is fairly playable. This is an upper mid-range card from the last generation, an RX 5700 XT, and you can't compare that card to a PS5. And if you optimize a game for consoles, you're just optimizing it for one PC setting. It's the same for everyone. And the next generation consoles, you have to compare with the next generation GPUs, in my personal opinion. So, I think this game is performing well. It might not perform great or outstanding, but it's sufficient. And for something completely new we are getting here, for this kind of game, 
where you can really experience something new and unique and it is a great great experience. I don't expect the game to hit the market and it's perfect. If you do something like this on this scale, I will happily play this game now and wait for future patches and performance improvements and other stuff. So I guess what I really want to say is enjoy the game. Don't bother too much with what people are saying, just enjoy the game for yourself. So with that said, take good care of yourself. <laughs>